Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite foods in the whole wide world, which is chicken, no, caviar. <laughs> Just kidding you guys. I love caviar and I think my love for caviar is genetic because one of my daughters um, loves caviar. She proclaimed it to be her favorite food since she was four years old. And on an episode of The Real Housewives of Dallas, I had a tea party for their birthday and she demanded that I order Russian Ocetra caviar, which of course is the most expensive kind because apparently my expensive taste is also hereditary. But Maddie's most favorite food is caviar. I ordered a whole ounce of Russian caviar for you. I got some caviar from my friends at the Caviar Company. This is not sponsored. I paid for all of this. Um, and have the receipt, but they did give me these spoons for free, which are awesome. And I'm gonna explain to you why you need these mother of pearl spoons to eat your caviar. You don't want any sort of metal touching your caviar because it will taint the taste of your caviar. So that's why you wanna serve everything on mother of pearl or maybe wood spoons, okay? So air and metal are the enemies of caviar and also hungry children who ate my caviar um, last time that I ordered it before I could have any. I have three types here. These are all imported. Um, the first one is the, what is this? It's really hard to read upside down. This is the Kaluga hybrid. And then next we have the Russian Ocetra. That is my child's favorite. And actually that's not the most expensive. The most expensive one is the Imperial Golden Ocetra. And I believe that these are all imported. The most of the caviar that we get in the United States comes from either Asia, mostly China or Iran. Um, traditionally caviar that was the most highly prized came from the Caspian Sea. Um, nowadays, a lot of this caviar is farmed. And frequently the question I get asked is, do you have to kill the fish to get the caviar out of it? So in case you guys didn't know, caviar is fish eggs, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and put that out there. If you think that that's disgusting and you never wanna try it, then so be it. But a lot of people really, really love caviar. It kind of has a salty, nutty, slightly briny taste. So I would say that if you like oysters, probably you would like caviar. That's like similar, but I think you should give it a try. And it's not fishy, like that classic fishy taste or smell. It's not like that at all. So back in the day, um, the most highly prized kind of caviar came from a fish called beluga, but they all belong to a um, class of fish called uh, sturgeon. And so basically these are the unfertilized eggs that are inside the sturgeon fish. And previously, in order to extract the eggs from the fish, you would have to kill the fish. But with advances in modern technology, they now have methods where these farmed sturgeon can be put in um, containers and they sort of massage the eggs out of the fish or do what's similar to like a C-section um, that women get to have babies. They make a little cut in the ovaries of the fish, which is where eggs come from, and extract the eggs that way. My favorite way to eat caviar is with these things called blini. I think it came from Russia. Don't quote me on that. But basically they're just mini pancakes and they are delicious. There's a recipe for them online. They're really easy to make or you can buy the pre-bought ones. So you can put a little bit of creme fraiche on these and then a little bit of caviar or I will tell you the true caviar connoisseurs of the world put the caviar on their hand after it's been washed, of course, and eat it from their hand because that is like the purest way to taste just the caviar without any adulterants, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do for you because I believe in being a true caviar connoisseur. And of course, we cannot have caviar without champagne. Um, you have to have cold, cold champagne or a dry martini um, when you eat caviar. I just made that up. Um, so here goes our champagne. 
oh my gosh, usually my husband does this opening part. It's very hard. Okay, here it comes. I feel it. I feel it. Oh! 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 I don't know why they make champagne so hard to open. Okay. So we're going to pour some champagne. Oh, put it here. Okay, so the first one is Kaluga. I'm actually gonna look this up because I want to be correct and not um, tell you guys the wrong thing. So this is Kaluga Hybrid Caviar. It is from Asia. I'm guessing that it is from China. And I would call this color like a bronze to golden brown. And it's described online as having a unique, nutty, and creamy taste. So we shall see. With our mother of pearl spoon, you take the spoon and then put some on your hand like that and then eat it. Hmm. It's very good. It does, it, it's weird to describe fish eggs as nutty, but you guys are just gonna have to believe me. And they're creamy. And I swear it's not fishy. It's a little briny, a little salty, okay? Then the next one is Russian Ocetra. And even though it says Russian Ocetra, it's from Israel. Interesting, okay. I did not know that Israel was a large producer of um, caviar, but see, you learn something every day. This one I would say is a little lighter colored than the first one. And then it's described as being buttery. Rich, savory taste with a smooth, buttery finish. Okay, I shall see. Oops. Oh yeah, it is a little buttery. This one is more salty than the last one. So the last one is this, I already forgot. Imperial Golden Ocetra, and this is the priciest of the three. And in terms of color, I would say it's the lightest. It's, that one is the lightest, this one's medium, and this one's the darkest. Not that color is an indication of quality or taste, but I'm just observing for you. So this one is like green, and it's more, I would say, translucent than the other ones. Caviar is actually really healthy for you. It's high in omega fatty acids, if you guys ever have been told to take like fish oil supplements or vitamins, this is basically that, it's fish oil. So that one here. Mm. I lost an egg. Mmm. This one's good. Very good. Nutty, creamy. I mean, I don't, you know, it's like when people drink wine and they're trying to describe to you what the wine tastes like and you're like, it tastes like wine. <laughs> you know, they're like, oh, I, I get a little hint of raspberry with fig, maybe a little leather or tobacco. And I'm like, when have you eaten leather? Like, I don't know where people will find these descriptors. I guess it's a smell thing, but it's really hard to describe the flavor profile of these, except that it's like nutty, creamy, and not at all fishy. Again, I honestly, this is my, taste must not be good because I've been sick, but I feel like I liked the cheapest one the most, which is good. That's more wallet friendly. But I think I should save the taste test for my child. My youngest child is the true caviar connoisseur of our family. <coughs> I got some caviar for you. So we're gonna do a little taste test, okay? And then you guys can have a little bit of candy later. Okay. Who wants to be the caviar taster? <laughs> Meh. Okay, you want mama to make it for you? Oh, don't eat the blini just yet. <laughs> I didn't put the caviar on there. Your majesty, here's the first one. This is Kaluga hybrid, okay? Mama's gonna make one too, because mama's hungry. <laughs> Do you want some, Chloe? What's the next one? The next one, okay, well, I'll just, I'll make it for you. I'll make my own. Okay. Can I have this? Wait, what did I just eat? That was Kaluga Hybrid. This no, is Russian. this is the last one? Yes, that's correct. This is um, Russian Ocetra. What tasting notes 
do you have on this first caviar? What's tasting note? You know, like what does it taste like? It tastes like caviar. Okay, on a scale of one to ten, how good was the first caviar? Five. Five? Okay. This is the second one. This is um, Russian Ocetra from Israel. Your Majesty, what do you think of the second? Stop eating all the blini. <laughs> um, what do you think of the second caviar? Do you like it better or worse than the first one? Worse. Worse? Four. Oh, okay. Maybe you have inexpensive taste like me. <laughs> this is the last one. This is, what is this? I already forgot. Imperial, Imperial Golden Ocetra. That's the last one. Which caviar did you like the most? Number three. Number three? Mommy. <sighs> can you she make... picked the most expensive one. Can you... They're all actually quite delicious. Are we done? We're done. Okay.